Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be taking a look at Ali Orders and AliExpress dropshipping app for Shopify. Now, we're going to be taking a look at the pros and cons, pricing, and really everything you need to know when considering getting started with Ali Orders. Now, before we dive into things, I do want to mention that first link down in the description box below will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. If you don't already have a Shopify store when getting started with Shopify dropshipping and e-commerce. Once again, First link down in the description box below. That's brennavaleski.com forward slash Shopify. I'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the review of Ali Orders. So Ali Orders is first and foremost an AliExpress dropshipping app and plugin. Very similar to DSers for Shopify. That is what Ali Orders does. They allow you to find and import products from AliExpress to your Shopify dropshipping store. Now, it is important to mention that Ali Orders is not directly owned by the parent company of AliExpress, Alibaba. Ali Orders is developed directly through Fire Apps, and Fire Apps is an e-commerce company where, you know, they create a variety of different types of apps for Shopify merchants, you know, in a variety of different categories. So, that is who develops Ali Orders it is by Fire Apps. So, but they also have a Chrome extension as well to help you import your products from AliExpress. So basically any type of product that you want to add to your Shopify dropshipping store, you can get that from AliExpress. So any of these type of product categories, you can find products to import with Ali orders into your, once again, your Shopify store. So you can go in here and search around. Let's go with pets, but any type of category will work will work. Uh, so you can do a pet brush or anything you see here, and then you can easily import them into your Shopify store. Once again, very similar to DSers, as you can see the little DSers logo there. Uh, I still have the Chrome extension in for that app, but basically it does the same thing here with Ali orders. You're able to import those AliExpress products. So that is the gist of Ali orders and what they do. Very simple, just those AliExpress dropshipping products. And I have other videos on the channel as well on how you can get faster shipping times within AliExpress. So if you're looking at just doing AliExpress, Fire Apps is, or Fire Apps develops Ali orders and Ali orders can be a good option for you. Now, taking a look at more of the specifics related to Ali order, Ali orders and what they have to offer. Of course, you can find and import those products directly into your Shopify store and they have that Shopify direct integration in the Shopify app store. You can find products as well directly within the Ali orders app. So you can find, you know, pro hot products and AliExpress products and you can import them in bulk as well. So it just depends on what types of products you may be looking for. Once again, you can also just search through AliExpress yourself, copy the URL, paste that into Ali orders as well to import those products. So just depends on what you want to do. You can add things to your import list and search for things like, hey, do they have free shipping? Are they rated well? What's the price range? You know, all these different types of things. You can also search as well within Ali orders. And then once you do that and you find those products to add to your import list within Ali orders, then you can edit the product name. You can view the original product in AliExpress. You can also <clears throat> edit the description for the product, the types, the categories, the tags, the collections. Of course, you'll want to make sure you add those types of things before you add the products. Um, as far as like before adding them and pushing them to your Shopify store, make sure you do that on the import list. You can also set up various automation rules as well and import that into your Shopify store. So you can customize it and do a one click push all to store. You can also set up automatic pricing rules and automation here uh, for your products going from AliExpress into your Shopify store. As you can see here, you can set up the product cost, the shipping cost, uh, even compare at pricing as well. So if you're looking at trying to set up discounts, like, hey, this product is $40 normally, we're gonna slash it to $20, but you know, maybe you get the product from your supplier for $5, just as a quick napkin math example there, that could be something that you use as a, as a pricing margin, uh, something like that. You have your sales price, your compare at price, and you can auto update product pricing and stock as well with various pricing rules. So maybe if one supplier goes out of stock, you can also set that up so that it automatically sets up with a new supplier so that you keep your, your inventory uh, managed as well. 
you can also replace products. So say you just want a new product in there, you can also replace old products, change out all the pricing, where it ships from, the color, everything like that, all in a bulk list, such as, as you can see here, in the, um, in the demo here. So you can replace AliExpress products as well. And you can automatically fulfill orders within seconds, you know, do that and manage orders by status. So you can set up your order section to, to be able to fulfill orders as they come into your Shopify store for doing your drop shipping orders to then route those orders over to AliExpress. So you can order the products directly within Ali orders and keep your tabs on your import list or your order list as well. Once your orders come in, you can place the orders uh, through Ali orders, which, you know, makes a lot of sense, right? Hence the name of the, of the app. So that's what you can do there as well. As you can see, you can also track your overall sales statistics based on your gross revenues and your total product cost or your cogs, your cost of goods sold, uh, as sales come into your e-commerce store. So you can track your overall performance, uh, because, you know, just within Shopify, it doesn't necessarily always keep track of your product costs, although you can add those in manually. Uh, but Ali orders will have your product costs built in there as well, based on what you're spending on your AliExpress products for your Shopify dropshipping store. So of course, that's the gist of Ali orders. Now taking a look at the pricing, I know a lot of you guys are like, hey, what, what, how much does this cost, right? So they do have a free plan on Ali orders, which is really, really nice. Uh, so they do have a free plan, as you can see here, directly on the Shopify app store. Now, this pricing is accurate as of the making of today's video. Of course, pricing is subject to change, so be sure to check out the latest up-to-date pricing on their website or in the Shopify app store when you're look, looking at or watching this video. So they do have a free plan. You can manage up to three stores. You can find suppliers, add in the pricing rules, and you know place and automatically fulfill AliExpress orders. So you can also map the variants and track the... Uh, tracking numbers. So that's pretty nice. So if you really just have the basics and that's all you need, you really can uh, do everything just on their free plan, which is nice to see, you know, very similar to a lot of their other competitors, you know, as far as, you know, if you're familiar with DSers or former, the old plugin Oberlo, if you're familiar with those, you know, good migration as well. They do also have DSers and Oberlo migration. If you're familiar with those uh, other apps, then they do have that as well within Ali orders. Now, if you do want the more basic or advanced plans above the free plan, they do have the basic plan, which allows you to manage up to 10 stores and you're able to do more advanced pricing rules within the Ali orders app. They also have the advanced plan if you're managing 25 stores. Now, most of you guys watching this video, managing three stores is beyond plenty for most people. But if you are managing a lot of different dropshipping stores, then you can go up to 10 on the basic plan and up to 25 on the advanced plan. So really that's just if you're managing a ton, a ton of different stores through one account then that can keep things a little bit simpler for you. But ultimately, if you do want those advanced pricing rules, which if you're importing a lot of products, maybe it makes sense for you. Most people probably good with just the free plan. Um, so generally as well, as far as the overall consumer sentiment and reviews are pretty positive. Uh, I did see some in the Chrome app store that some people are like, ah, it wasn't working for them. But these are the most recent up-to-date reviews within the Shopify app store and generally they're fairly positive. So I would say definitely, you know, give Ali orders a shot, check them out, you know, it's worth it. testing them out, especially if maybe you want something a little bit different than DSers, which is the most popular other AliExpress focused dropshipping app for importing just AliExpress products, then Ali orders could be a good option for you within your Shopify dropshipping store. Of course, they make it easy to find those AliExpress products. You can import them once again directly from AliExpress. You can find your products here and then import them through Ali orders and be able to fulfill your orders. And that's really the basis of it. It's all focused around specifically AliExpress dropshipping, and they do have migration as well if you're maybe transferring from another app. Now, once again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, I do want to mention that first link down in the description box below. BernadValeski.com forward slash Shopify will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. Once again, that's that first link down in the description box below. We'll get you set up with a Shopify free trial. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful on this Ali Orders review, taking a look at the pricing and everything you need to know for Ali Orders. If 
If you found this video helpful or enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.